For the last week, I've had the honorable privilege of watching the entire series all over again with my friends. Some of the episodes I decided to watch by myself and some of them with my friends. So basically, as of this moment, I have seen every episode twice and I've seen some episodes three times. The scene I'm talking about today is the ending of Rose's Scabbard. It is what I consider to be one of the top three best scenes in the series and the second best emotional scene in the series behind Lion 3 straight to video's Rose Quartz scene. The music once again is top notch. There is not a single moment in the scene that doesn't feel like it should feel. It's emotional, powerful, and delivers a strong message to those watching. Pearl Stare is pretty dang scary, especially against the moon. The night sky with the stars is great as well to look at. This scene taking place at night, with Lion running after Pearl in the strawberry fields, makes it a perfect location to lead up to this scene. Also, if you'll notice, Pearl's gem is white. You've probably noticed this throughout the series. As a backdrop to the moon, it's weird how they both look very similar to each other. Is it a coincidence? I don't know. Seeing Pearl completely avoid Steven when he's about to fall off the rock is a complete different tone we've seen from her character in the past. Every time Steven has messed up or is about to die from some situation, she has always been there to save him. But this time, it's completely different. It's almost like Pearl knows Steven can make it out of this situation, or that she's so emotionally overwhelmed that she can't do anything about it. Now I'd like to talk about a scene within a scene, specifically Rose's projection scene. In this segment, we are shown Pearl's undying loyalty to Rose. My Pearl, Rose says, as if to indicate that they have a very close bond. To add on to this thought, Pearl says, Everything I ever did, I did from her. From this exchange, people either interpret their relationship as romantic or extremely loyal. I think Pearl had both. I think Pearl loved who Rose was and everything she stood for, thus making her extremely loyal to her cause. To wrap up this exchange, Stephen Quartz Universe says, I think you're pretty great, causing Pearl to cry. I believe Pearl isn't crying because she thinks Stephen is Rose's incarnation, but rather because Pearl is being told how much she means to Stephen after all she's done for him. This scene highlights how Pearl really felt after Rose gave up her form for Stephen. Pearl abandoned her life to fight alongside Rose Quartz in a long battle, and it was worth it to Pearl because of who Rose Quartz was. As we've seen in the past, Amethyst also had her moment with Rose in maximum capacity. It was revealed that in maximum capacity, Amethyst spent a lot of time with Rose, but when Greg entered their life, they hung out less. However, they both did watch Little Butler, which, because Amethyst watched it with Greg, might have meant that Amethyst liked Greg as well. Overall, this four-minute scene is one of the best emotional scenes in the show. It highlights Pearl's true emotions and even makes her out to be a little unstable. There's a line stated by Jasper in the second to final episode referencing Pearl, mentioning that she is a lost, defective Pearl. Whatever that means in the future, we'll find out. But from this episode, it was also clear that she is a bit unstable. However, with the help of Rose and Steven, she's made her way and she's become a great member of the Crystal Gem.